friends Dave here and welcome to Arashi Castles of Sin Overview. We're definitely getting a lot of parkour games recently which pretty much means that the developers are not afraid of putting the VR community into a heavy locomotion based gameplay. There's of course ways to reduce the intensity though it's nice that people are pushing the envelope and not being safe anymore with just experiences that repeat the same mechanics over and over. So Arashi Castles of Sin is an action parkour stealth game where you're taking on a role of a deadly assassin Kenshiro that travel across feudal Japan in order to defeat the six Onis which are spreading the chaos across the whole land. This is a remaster of some sort because it released before, I believe back on the first PSVR so now it's pretty much releasing across the whole VR platform systems. <laughs> I love the overall setting, like there is not enough games happening in the Asian history periods or just embody that eastern flair. Of course the graphics here are not standalone but I'm looking now through the screenshots and it doesn't look that bad so I wonder if they already have some quest free enhancements built in. There's definitely a lot of movement going on although it's not necessarily the Assassin's Creed way because we'll be pulling and teleporting to certain rooftops and stuff. It seems to have some parry and counter attack combat system, a dog companion that helps you around which is always a good idea to include in VR. It's just the ambience is very very specific and coming from Skydance besides some recent stuff going on I expect it to be polished and have enjoyable mechanics though I'm not sure why I've never heard about the actual original so if the devs want to bring this game back to the community or felt like it very much needed the whole revamp we shall see there's definitely room for this title on the store <laughs> let's transport to Japan Get comfortable for the road ahead. <laughs> uh, we're moving. Wait, something's off. The movement is controller based, not head based, which Nowadays for quests it's a little bit weird. It's just that I'm not used to that specific setting. I always opt for the head one. I will have to see how it's gonna be in practice. Yeah, but it doesn't seem like I can adjust much. Kono yo ni wa futatsu no sekai ga sonzai suru. Hitotsu wa hitobito no ikiru genjitsu no sekai. Soshite mou hitotsu wa furuku kara katari tsugareru yami no sekai. Bito kyofu ni michita sono yami koso ga wareware no ikiru basho. しかし時は戦国嵐一族はこの二つの世界を生き返り役目を果たさねばならぬ我々の住みかは影失敗の先には死の溝を待つそれが忍びの掟だ This looks a bit terrifying No four no detail. <laughs> Ball mechanics. Why she's like stopping between some segments? Okay. I mean, you look different in the trailer, okay. <laughs> it's gonna be like a personal stalker. <laughs> and she's big. Arashi no musuko yo. Minami no chi de nani ka yokaranu koto ga okiteiru yo da. 
夜明けにカラスがお前をいとこ君のもとへと導いてくれるだろう Wait, so what do we do? Ah, first of all, the graphics. I mean. Not really that nice. It's atmospheric. But not that much detail going on, really. Yeah, like even the environment is just very blurry and. Not high quality. This movement is gonna be a struggle though. It's just not for me. Kenshiro, Tsuue wa omae ga togakushi no gakkou de buji de aru to shinji te ita yo da ga. Watashi wa omae ga buji de aru koto o kono me de tashikameru made sore ga shinji gata katta.敵がお前を見つけるのも時間の問題だ。奴らのやり方は分かっている。お前の死を望む者たちは決して止まることはない。だがまだ時間はある。火祭りの前夜、父上の屋敷で必死に助けを求める声を聞いた。Jesus. Aizome no mura de yuitsu iki no kotta chorou no musuko ga wareware arashike no tasuke o motome inochi kara kara nigete kita no da. Sono mura wa furuku kara tennou ke ai o hoji hanei shite kita. Shikashi kare ra o zankoku na unmei ga machi uke te ita. 6人のイガオミと呼ばれる浪人どもが村を襲い罪のない人々の命を奪い村の富を手に入れようとした大名軍兵藍染めの村の利権を狙う強欲なこの男もまた村の征服を進めていたのだ軍兵はすぐさま村人たちに手を差し伸べようとしたが奴の悪行は長老たちの耳にも届いていた長老は軍兵の助けを断り自力で村を守ろうとしたが長くは続かなかった6人の鬼は再び村を襲い死に勝る恐怖をもたらした村は全滅し浪人どもは今軍兵に与えられた土地で領主として振る舞っている生き延びた長老の息子は血にまみれた体で最後まで正義を誓っていた父上は将軍様からの命なくして軍兵を捕らえることはできぬだが浪人どもの犯した罪には死が下されるべきだ荒家は正義を貫くそしてそのためにはケンシロウお前が必要だ目に見えぬ刃となって今こそ動くのだ岡本勝弘和歌山の赤犬この男の一族は将軍様の統治により力を失いその運命を踏みにじられたしかし奴の自尊心から将軍様に仕えることを拒み岡本は罪のない人々の命を奪うことで。一家の名誉を取り戻すなどと触れ回っている今や狂気のみが奴を突き動かしているのだろう真実を嘲笑い欺くことでしか安息を得られない激しく見えたぎる怒りこそがあの男の狂気長老の息子たちは岡本の槍によって殺された村の決闘は途絶えたことになる奴の不名誉な旗はかつて犬伏城と呼ばれた場所で高らかとなびいている岡本の狂気をこのまま放っておくわけにはいかぬ
お前の最初の敵はこの男だ影がお前を目的の地へと導いてくれるだろう我々の威信にかけて戦うのだ Holy cow, how the introduction can be that long? Don't come at me, cause I'll catch you. There's no friendly fire? Okay, good. <laughs> Spring across rivers and broken bridges. Uh, okay. I see. Where I'm putting my sword? Ugh, I hate this recent trend of blinking over the edge. It's a lot of instructions for something that should be like self and explanatory. Anticlimactic. <laughs> ah, could be worse. Haru, <laughs> why are you flying there? There's a lot of anticlimactic stuff going on. <laughs> Oof, it's rough. You're crazy. I want to see head on combat. I mean, I like that it has my actual style of combat, which is dual wielding with one blocking sword. Ow! <laughs> It's okay. The blocking and parrying seems accurate. Next. Jesus. I can't be too close because it's automatically kidding me Carl, will you do something? Or are you just a bystander? Oh my god, my health I still don't like the movement But that can be easily patched
Wait, but how can they not notice a big ass dog here? <laughs> And the sound, I mean, okay. <laughs> yeah, the AI is not strong. But I only have like one command. I guess universal for everything. Do your job. Why are my hands disappearing? You're useless. <laughs> Oh, there's an indicator. What the? <laughs> I mean, that helps, I suppose. What? What just happened there? <laughs> You're a magician? I want more combat. It's like not every hit connects even. Yeah, like the interaction is kind of won't if you move. Staying in one place? Yeah, sure, but that's not VR. I like that you have teleportation skills, not me. Where am I? <laughs> it's fairly big area. Not about the stuff here. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Where's your sword, mate? <laughs> I don't know about this. There's a lot of stuff going on that are not good for the game altogether. And it's a remaster. So if this is wonky, then I can't imagine what was happening before. Oh, Whatever. And I am here, but I should be respawned in the shrine that I unlocked according to the instructions. 
What the hell? I don't necessarily like this, especially that nothing is really good going on here. <laughs> Starting with the movement, it's very outdated. There's not really that much to customize either. Like only two settings in 2023, that's kind of unacceptable. The level of graphics, maybe it's adequate for Quest 2 because it's fairly open world, though I would imagine this needs like a heavy upgrade to make it playable. Combat is okay, it's not the worst that I've seen, considering the powering is fine and it connects, but the actual damage doesn't really come across very often. You really need to stay in one place for it to register, because when you move around, that's when the shit start going down. <laughs> Mechanics and features as well, like I should be spawned there instead of here. I don't see this as a remaster. I see this as an early access game, to be honest. And there's a lot of changes to introduce to make it somewhat a good experience. 